In today's readings, we hear about how the Lord is asking us to preach and proclaim His Word. In the first reading, we hear about how the Lord is proclaiming through His prophets to the cities of um, Judah. And He's saying to them that all those who listen to me, who hear my voice and act accordingly, who turn away from evil, they will be rewarded. And all those who do not heed my voice, who do not turn away from evil, they will face the consequences and justice will be served. But he encourages us to share his word with everyone regardless because it gives them the opportunity to turn from their evil ways and turn towards him. In the gospel, we hear about how Jesus has gone back to his hometown and he's preaching in the synagogue. And at first people are astounded at the wisdom that is coming from this man. And then they begin to say things like, don't we know this guy? Isn't he the carpenter's son? Don't we know his family? Don't we know this about him and that about him and all of these things about him? And they kind of begin to discredit what he's saying and it leads them to a place of disbelief. And I think that's really interesting because in our hometowns, we can face things like that, you know, especially in small towns, everybody knows everybody. And so you know who people's families are, where they live, what they do for work. You know all of these things about them. And so sometimes that can cause people to disbelieve us before we've even said a word. I know that sometimes when I'm doing these daily reflections, I have this fear that what if someone who's listening knows more about this than I do? What if someone who's listening got a different message out of this reading than I did? And I think that's also really important because God works through us in mysterious and unexpected ways and he doesn't pick and choose he doesn't only go to the doctors or only go to the lawyers or only go to the students or only go to the farmers he works in each and every one of us whoever is willing to listen and to share his word and the importance of that is that we can all connect to people in different ways just like we can all get different um, messages out of the readings we can all help each other to grow closer to God in different ways. What that means is that what you get out of a reading one day may not be the same message that you get another day. And what you understand from one person's homily may not be the same as what you understand from someone else's. We all have the ability to reach different people in different ways. And that is the beauty of the Lord's Word. And that is the beauty of us as people of the body of Christ and his church.